Mr. Pritchard, I presume? Hi, I'm Chen Ting. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Flight? Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. I have to tell you, I'm dying to know what the inside of that room's like. You can tell everything about a person by how they keep their room, as far as I'm concerned. going on in that guy's room? No one's learning anything about him from that room, let me tell you. Basically, spot. I'm not sure if I know you. Sir, that's an official. <laughs> Evening. No, How am I'm I supposed to focus the when the kitchen feels he went like a train station? Find your inner zen. I'm Close ready to inspect the facility now. Good. On the I hope you enjoyed the food. Bonus on Did the you agent. bring the P-41 we left for That's you in I the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have, without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the rest is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously. As you will see, on all steps of the tour.
Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, Blunt vetting is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Those security guys are Please give me your P41, Mr. Pritchard, so we can get things rolling. It's like they're waiting for Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Hi there. I will have to pad you down if you're coming this way, sir. Yeah, let me take a look. Just like the movies, right? Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Here's the B41. Please start the authentication process for top security clearance and engage the zero protocol. VIP. I'll get right on it. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute, I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got- you can use your camera to hack that panel. Security protocol overruled. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security Perfect clearance. Timing. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack continue. it. 
Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operation. We and we alone store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics or personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task. And on top of that, oh, good, there she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Hi, Imogen Royce. Nothing wrong with her look, though. I've been looking though. forward to meeting you. Edgy. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a Looking little good, demonstration man. for you. Looking good. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. 
If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for Don't your employment me, status. I'll be scoring Thank you around. for your service. Procedure. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. You don't have clearance to open this door. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. I, uh, I have to tell you something. Don't know how to say it, really. I mean... I've decided which scenario I'd like yeah, to see play out. Good. I, I hope you're ready to witness that. what's you in know? store for the ICA. What did you hear? Did I did I do something wrong? No idea. It just makes no sense. I like it here. I, I put in a real effort. My friends are here. You're here. Yeah, well, I suppose so. Must be some mistake. We'll stay in touch. And you know, uh, household logistics, buying groceries... You've had a closer look and made your choice of who to let go? I have. I'll let you have the honors and be the one to perform the demonstration. Go ahead and choose the subject. The facility AI will handle the situation. You just enjoy the show. Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47.
don't feel comfortable with Royce knowing intimate stuff about us. I know she's all about the but what about privacy? Is it still? Yeah, keep it real. You can't be here, sir. Hey! Yeah, and don't come back! It's for your own good. If you want to pass through, I gotta pat you down. Funny. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. Clean as a whistle, sir. Go on. Is it still raining out there? Oh, yeah. Boring. Damn. I was hoping you would have started the Security out. protocol ah. overruled. Yeah, I know. Good. You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. It's all here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. What did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disorder. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Intrusion detected. Lockdown commencing. Shit. I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go. Now. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm going to create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. Roger, command. Nothing tangible yet. Still Warning, core overheating.
Warning, fire detected. Uh, command, yeah, I'm here now. It's all clear, over. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. Warning, core overheating. Area clear. Copy command. Still looking. No sign of the warning. Problem. Fire detected. Shit. That was tense, 47. Hello there. Shell causing shockwaves across the world, the so called ICA files, the disclosure of a you win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know, most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news that was 47 acting on his own, he is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me.